Hi everybody, this is Jason Augustus Newcomb again, creator of the New Hermetics and various many other amazing things in the world. And uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, how to make an Almadel. And the reason that I'm doing this is that for the past few years I've been offering the Almadel on my site, but frankly uh, I am not going to continue doing so, and so I do not mind my secrets being exposed. Now also if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can actually get my exact uh, setup that I use to make the Amadel, and you can do it yourself with my stuff if you want to. But okay, so to begin with, um, the, way that I, the way that I approached it is that I made a model of this out of um, clay, and uh, it was a very painstaking process, but I got it extremely flat, and I got two, and I got uh, some some uh, holes in it that were very even, and I made sure if you're going to make a mold like I did, you got to make sure that it actually goes slightly, ever so slightly reversed, so that, so that it's a little bit thinner at the bottom than it is at the top, so that when you pull it out of the mold, it doesn't grab on. These are one of the many little little tips that um, that I've learned over the years of making molds. Um, this is my mold for making the Amadel. And as you can see, it's got these little knobbies in it. Um, so this mold is made out of a, um, uh, um, um, a silicone resin. It's a two-part thing. You can get it from a company called Smooth On, Smooth-On. Uh, they make these things. And so um, basically uh, you, you make the model and then you build a bridge around the model and then you pour this goop in and then the model becomes uh, you know, you, this stuff is poured over the group and you peel it off and then it becomes a mold, a mold for the Amadel. Now, uh, this, this mold will essentially last probably, I actually have a mold for a Sigillum Dea meth that I made um, f about uh, 20 years ago and it still works fine. So this will last you essentially forever. Um, and it's reasonably tough, as you can see from the fact that I just threw it. Now, the candles, which uh, I made to look like this after the drawings in the, um, the, in the various uh, grimoire manuscripts, uh, the candles uh, are a bit more complicated because you need to make a mold that you can pour this shape into. <laughs> and um, what I did was I essentially made a model of that, just like with these Almdales. And then I uh, took uh, this, this object here, uh, which is a big piece of PVC pipe that I afterwards cut in half, um, and I put it around the model. Here, I'll get the, I'll get the, put it around the model, and again, poured that urethane stuff into it. I'm mean, sorry, not urethane, silicone uh, stuff into it to make a, to make a mold um, inside. Uh, however, this part is, is essential too because in order to get the mold off of this thing, you have to cut it in half. So this piece, you know, you, there you go, you pull it and then you pull your candle out. Woo! It's very exciting. Um, So basically you have to keep these two pieces like this and then, because this is just an empty thing at the bottom, if you pour, if you pour hot wax through here, oh, well, that's going to make a big mess. You're not going to be, you're not going to be happy about it. Oops. Um, so what I do is I take this little guy, which is a plug for a PVC pipe. I stick that on there. Now, because of the nature of things, this is all not going to stay together all that well. So then you just take a bunch of rubber bands and wrap it around it and it holds it all together. Now you're going to get a little bit of wax pouring through if you look carefully at this thing, although it's just a big bright object right now. But if you could see it more clearly, you'd see that there's a little bit of wax on it and that's because wax kind of spills out of it anyway, a little bit, it drips out. Um, if it pours out a lot, you probably need to reorient the whole thing. Um, finally, uh, before you get started, 
you need to attach a wick, which I just take a piece of tape and attach some wick material to the bottom here and then feed it through this whole thing and then attach the wick to the top like this. Now that's, that's how you can make an Amadel candle. Uh, now, I mean, the, the hard part is making the mold. <laughs> the, the making of it is actually fairly easy. So, um, basically, you know, I, I've been making the Amadel for a number of years. Uh, it's not something that I, that I um, see myself continuing to do into the future. So if there's someone out there who wants to make Amadels and they want to have a little cottage business of doing that, uh, I sell them for $250. Um, I will sell you that mold setup for three thousand uh, dollars. Now I, uh, I will have to, um, if it gets sold, please don't send me three thousand dollars because I only have the one. Um, so check the the comments down here, and I'll place a comment once it's once if it ever sells. It may just sit in sit in my office until I get sick of it, and then I'll sit in the garage. Um, but if you do want it, if you want to have a cottage industry of making almadels. This is your opportunity to get in without having to do the labor intensive work that I put in to actually make those molds. So um, I think that pretty much explains how to make an Almadel. And if you would like to buy an Almadel from me, I'm only going to be offering them for the next uh, week or two. Um, today is the 1st of April. Not This is an April Fool's joke. They're actually not going to exist anymore. Um, after about a week from now, they'll be taken off my site as it gets updated. Uh, there's no going to be no more Almadels. So anyway, thanks for watching. I can't believe you got to the end of this. You are a trooper. <laughs>